Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Muscle Gerbil Plays Return of the Obra Dinn. Last time, we got a lot of fates. Over the past couple episodes, we've been getting a lot of fates determined. We're gonna keep putting these pieces together. There's something that's been rattling around in the back of my brain, thinking about this mystery. In one of the early episodes, I saw a scimitar hanging below deck. I feel like if I can put that scimitar to a person, I might be able to identify that person. I just don't remember where to find it. So we're going to have to do a little bit of backtracking. It was early on in the game. It had to have been the Doom... It had to have been... It had to have been somewhere below deck. One of those memories. So we're gonna go check that out. I want to say it was the Doom because that was one of the early parts. Uh, where did the artist die? Let me check the sketch. I don't want to go to the glossary. I want to go to the sketch. Am I even on the right? No, I'm one. I gotta go up. Up one more. And then I gotta go to the other side. Oh, the water's coming down through the top of the ship. Uh, the storm's getting more intense. I gotta start wrapping this up. Almost the ship is gonna sink. It's taking a lot of damage. Alright, I'm below deck now. We're gonna get the nice sounds of the artist. There it is. There's the scimitar. 36. Go to the crew manifest. See who 36 is. 36 is Omid Gul from Persia. Are there any other Persian people? Huh, okay. Did I ever investigate up top what was happening with... Over here. Yes, I must have. Okay. Uh, where's my boom tube out of here? Who are these guys? Wait a minute. 41. Who's 41? We lay a topman from China. Huh, is he? I don't know if I can read into that, uh, that hammock. Because that's just the table. And that's usually where the Russians were sleeping. Forty-eight, forty-nine, thirty-six. Wait a minute. Wait just a gosh darn second. The positions 
the positions of these hammocks have changed from when Syed died. <gasps> Duh. Why would you have a hammock for a dead person? Once someone dies, you're not going to have a hammock for them anymore. You're just going to probably chuck them into the sea and take their hammock down or give it to another person. All right, got to see what hammock numbers we have then. 45, 43, 44. Forty-eight, forty-nine, thirty-six, forty-one. 49, 36, 41. I gotta check my crewman. I gotta pull up the crew manifest. So who's still alive at this point? 49. Who's 49? Lars Lind. That's the... That's the, the Dane that got clubbed. 48. Nathan Peters. 36. Omid Ghoul. Uh, 41, we already looked at. That's Wai Li. Or Wei Li. Okay. Mm, that would give us too much information, I guess. 57. Alexander Booth. 56. Yeah, Henry Brennan. So that's where Brennan is sleeping. Before he gets killed by the captain. 45 is Volkov. Yep, because he was still alive before he got shot by Emily Jackson. Huh. Okay. This is starting to make a little bit more sense now. I gotta go back to the crew manifest. Because the doom is right... Right near the end. I think I have it. I, th I think I have it. Okay. So... Let's go to the sketch. This dude was killed by... Nathan Peters. This is Nathan Peters' brother, Samuel Peters. This is Nathan Peters, then. He disappeared. Let's see if I can track him on the map. Doom Part 1, he's there. Doom Part 7, he's there. But Soldiers of the Sea, I don't care about what happened to him beforehand. Lose cargo, lose cargo. So I need to go to the Doom Part 7. So I need to find our torso friend again. Man, our torso friend is really helping us out. Alright, alright, this should provide some information. Yeah, he's dead. I'm trying to find Nathan Peters. There's Volkov. Will it show me who these people are? No. Huh.
so... Out of everybody I can see... I know where this person is. I know where this person is. I know where that person is. Where the bosun's mate is. Where Volkov is. Where the... The bosun and the gunner are. I know where a midshipman is. Huh. Is there anybody up top that I haven't... Because I didn't look... Oh, there's someone climbing the rigging. Okay, I know where that guy is. Oh, I would know he was still alive anyways, because he was around at the end. I think I might have gotten it. I think Peters was trying to escape, and he just got thrown overboard when he was in that boat. So he drowned by a beast. Oh, oh, yes. All right, we are getting there now. Oh yeah, we are cooking with gas. Something else that's been bugging me is our torso friend. Because initially I thought he he might have been the Frenchman, like the bosun said, but we identified the bosun. I want to say that's just Maba. Because I feel like in this you know, era, someone from New Guinea would have tattoos like that. So I guess he wasn't straight. I don't... I do not understand where the cook... What happened to the cook? Or any of these people down here. Because they barely appear in the story. Oh, except for this guy. Whoa. You're in 11 memories? He's in the Doom. So he made it almost all the way through. But what happened to him? He just disappeared. One, two, three. Four people disappeared the doom. I got to figure out who the two other people on that boat were. Okay, then. Has anybody's deduction rating gone down at all? No. Murder part three. So he was... Is he the foot... Yes, he's the foot. Check out this memory again. I don't remember the foot very well. Oh. 
this guy was killed by the second mate. Okay. Easy enough. What's going on over here? Do I know who this person is? Yes. I don't really have any information on who that guy is. How do I get out of here? Oh, gotta go all the way across the ship. Do I know who this person is? I do not. Hmm. Oh, that's Lars Lind. There's that one memory down at the bottom of the ship I want to take a look at. The one where the guy has his the other foot. We're just gonna we're just gonna have a theme of this episode. It's gonna be about feet. Rex Ryan will love it. Keep pressure here. Cause I think we identify There's a lot going on here. Darn it, that's not the scimitar. I was hoping that'd be the scimitar. I think I have an idea of what happened there. We're gonna have to use some. We're gonna have to make make a little bit of a leap of faith here. I think this guy is the captain's steward. And he doesn't die. The last place he appears is right here. But the, the other guy, John... Darn it, I gotta find him on the gotta find him in the book. Just gonna go back to the memory real quick and make it easier to get him. Keep pressure here. So Wait. Was he killed with? First mate. So I'm guessing.
where am I on the ship right now? Bosun store. I'm I'm guessing he was killed with that sword. Because that sword is right there. By the captain's mate. Or the captain's steward. So is that all the stewards? No, there's a couple. Let's see if I can track this guy and put him with a with an officer. Murder part three. Might have to go back to that one again. Do, do, do. Ah, come on. Actually, you know what? While I'm here, I want to go back and investigate this this guy back here. And see what, what got him. Because it doesn't look like he got spiked. It looks like he sh oh, it almost looks like he had shot through the wall. Like they shoot and they miss. I'm not allowed I'm not gonna be able to get around, am I though? Yeah, that's right. Who is that? Oh, wait a minute, there's the guy with the scimitar. What part am I on? I am on part seven. So I'm gonna go back to part six and see if I can get a better look. I'm just gonna have to do this guy. Is this part six? Part six, perfect. Oh, I've got you. Oh, it's Henry Evans. Ooh, but there is a spike right there. But he's not dead yet. Hmm. Interesting. I think he got shot by this guy.
because he was bald and everyone else there had hair. This person was shot with a gun by the bosun's mate. And this is the guy with the scimitar. He was, what, 36? Oh, my cool. And he just disappears in the doom? Let's see what memory I have to go to to find him. Part six, it looks like. Yes, so we're going to part six, which means I need to go back up top. I got it. Where's my boom tube out of here? Hmm. Oh, I'm still stuck right there? Darn it. Hoping it would have teleported me through the wall when I did the other memory. Guess not. Alright, we're going to head up top and see if we can find what happened to our, our scimitar dude. Oh, uh, which body do I have to look at? This one? I think it might be this one, where he gets exploded. Yep. Alright. Let's... Is that him? That's him. He drowned. I'm gonna say he drowned. He's falling into the water. He was drowned by a terrible beast. Oh! Yes, three more right. All right, we're about almost three quarters of the way there. Carpenter and carpenter mate, the purser, ship steward, second mate steward. And like all of the topmen. And then another seaman. And a couple more seamen. Okay. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. The second mate's steward should not be this tough. We just gotta follow the second mate on the deck and hopefully they like they hang out a little bit. Let's see where he goes. The calling. Let's go back to the calling then. Let's kind of look through. And see if there were any stewards. No. So this guy is the second mate steward. Because he was with the second mate on the voyage. That would make sense, right? So then, there's one other person wearing a steward's outfit. So he would be the ship steward. All 
All right, I need one more fate to see if I can confirm any of this, though. This guy, like, who is this guy? The Doom Part 1, the Doom Part 7. He's alive during all of this. He's right near the purser's office. And he's not wearing any, like, uniform that would suggest he was a topman or a seaman, because all the seamen wear kind of similar garb. And, like, who is this guy? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do a little little logical leap here. I think that's the purser. And I think he drowned. By the beast. Alright. I he must have been on that boat with Nathan Peters then. Alright. All right, the threads are starting to come back together after we unraveled them. We still got a lot more to go, though. So that's... Like, what do we have left? Carpenter and carpenter mate. A lot of the topmen and a couple of seamen. Hmm, seamen kind of wear like these style pants, it looks like. Is there anybody up top wearing those kind of pants, too? Is this the same guy as... No. They just look very similar. We don't know what happened to this guy. Right? I'm guessing these are all top men up here. Got all the Russians and the Peters boys. We got the Formosans. This guy perished in the calling. Part one on the boat. Uh, I don't just want to start throwing stuff out into, you know, just throwing stuff at the wall to see what sticks. Unholy Captives Part 3. Uh, I need to go to the Orlop deck, which I'm guessing is the third deck, I'll, if, we, if we call this the first. And second, and the third. It's this, like... This is the carpenter shop. Hmm.
This guy's the carpenter. And this guy's the carpenter's mate. Because this guy's wearing, like, the smock. And stuff. So he's get, he's doing all, like, the refinement and stuff so he can get the sawdust off of him. This guy, he's just the mate. He does all the dirty work. doesn't matter if he gets dirty. Oh, wait, where in... How did he perish? Is that the guy? I think, I think, it looks like he got spiked. Okay, when did he perish? Part three, so I need to go to Soldiers of the Sea part two? Unless I've already identified Nick. Which I might have. Looking for a dude named Nick. There's one. There's a Nicholas Botterell. Is there anybody else? Alright, looks like we're going to... Soldiers of the Sea Part 2. So that's got to be Nicholas Botterell. Huzzah! Well, all right then. Well, 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 all the pieces are coming together in full. How many more people do we have left? One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11 wouldn't make sense. We need... Oh, 12. And the cook. Because I have no idea what happened to the cook. Only 12 more left. It seems like a pretty nice, even number. Only a couple of threads need to be unraveled for that. So we're gonna find out who these last 12 angry men are next time.